plates lately. So the next species I want to talk about is our stumpy, Cape Natal stump nose. Uh, what we require for it, 16 kilo nylon, it's the kingfisher one. Power swivel, five by six, it's very small, very light. Five-o ring sui, and of course it can be a pear sinker depending on how flat and calm it is, or a cone sinker, it's up to you. Latex cotton, and of course our ghost crab. There's two ways that I like to do it. The one is the whole crab, which I've done before. If you go back to our previous episodes where I did the brusher baits, it's exactly the same as the brusher bait version, where I'm using the whole crab. The only difference is it's a lot lighter. Like I said, I'd be using 16 kilo line instead of 31, 32 kilo that I'd use for the brusher baits. So to make the trace, very simple. Take some nylon. Here we go. Ring soy. The reason I use a ring soy, first of all, it's silver in color. It's also offset, so it sits nicely on the crab when I actually bait up. This is the 5 version. Okay, so what we're going to do is just make up the trace. One, two, three. It's a simple figure of eight, guys. I do it all the way through our episodes. It's a simple knot. Lubricate. Slide down. Pull tight. Nothing fancy about that at all. Cut it off quite close. It's going to measure about 40 centimeters. Basically that one. Remember on the three-way swivels, the big eye goes to your leader line. The small eye at the bottom is going to go to your hook. And the one on the side goes to your sinker for this trace. And again, there we go, figure of eight. Slide it down, pull tight. Pull the hook snoot. Same length nylon. Let's just tie it on here quickly. Again. To the sinker it's a simple figure of eight I'm not clipping this bait it would be a bait that I'd be throwing in a sandy area hence the ghost crab so open beach rolling white water is what I'm looking for preferably with a bit of a drop off and that's where I'd be throwing this bait that I'm gonna make Let's really go through there just want to get the length the same. Okay, so that should be about right. And again, it's just a figure of eight. There we go, guys. Okay, so that's the completed trace that I'd be using. Mm. This one is a little bit on the longer side. I'm going to cut him down and retie him. He's not perfect. Okay. And here we go again. And that should be perfect. Now, let's have a look if I got it right. My measurement's right now. And that's basically what you want. Okay, the hook needs to sit next to the sinker. It's got a lot of movement in it. Um, that's about all I can say about that trace. Now bait up. Let's bait this baby up. Okay, like I said before, if you go back to the brusher one that we did the other day, I'd actually stuck a bait needle through and put one single hook on top. You can do the same for um, stumpies as you do for the brusher. But I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. I like to get a lot more smell out a lot quicker. And the first thing that we do is basically take this big pincer. Well, don't worry about the pincer, we'll do that just now. Take a knife that's not sharp. Um, a very hard, heavy duty knife. Not 
something flimsy like this but that's all I've got at the moment so what you do is more than halfway when I say halfway if you have a look at it here that's the middle more than halfway is about there you just cut down onto it remove that part remove it on this side here you've got that big pincher pincer take your trucker hammer and you just lightly break it you don't want to do and especially with the bigger side and you just lightly knock it just to expose a lot of that flesh you can see inside there how much flesh there actually is in that crab then what we try and do is take off the actual shell on top exposing as much of that flesh as possible and all the insides okay take our hook and it's very simple the hook lies and if I got the sizing right over there like that you then take our cotton I get him right take our latex cotton and just move him back to where he should be and we just cotton up the top part of it and you can put a lot of cotton on it don't be scared these little last little two segments of it you actually want to break off like that you can if you want stick a little slither of chocker over the top and I'm going to show you how to do that shortly but that on its own is basically a good enough bait to throw for a stumpy a pompano on those beaches up in Zululand the three spotted pompano do eat it as well so that's pretty much what I like to throw for a stumpy I'm going to show you now what we do with the chocker bait as well just to make it into a combo add a little bit more flavor smell to it I've got a lovely Adcan chocker over here it's still frozen quite uh, quite a bit it's as hard as a rock at the moment I'm going to try my best to get to what I want I had it in my bait box my safari chiller for a while and it still hasn't defrosted Let's see if I can. Ah. Yo. Moral of the story, don't leave it in your safari chiller. Okay, there we go. That's getting better. Okay. And I'm fighting with this chocker at the moment because he's so, so frozen. Okay, sweet like a cucumber. All I want to do, and let's just bring that closer here, is I'm just going to cut a little section off and let him continue to defrost. Okay. It works very well this combination crab bait if you've got a thicker chocker okay again your lovely chocker hammer and it's going to be loud guys so sorry about that changing to the smaller side now Okay, basically what I've done is I've actually smashed it to shreds so it's a lot thinner and stickier. Now what I'm going to do is just cut a nice little piece off. And that's pretty much what I'm looking for. My latex cotton. 
find the end of it. There we go. On the top part, over here, there's a lot of juice and smell there. You want to try and keep it in for as long as possible. So all I do is lay it on top. Like it. Take the latex cotton, the thin one. The thinner the better for this bait. And we just tie it up and around. What happens is the smell of the crab gets absorbed into the chocker quite nicely. It's a bit softer as well, so it's a little bit more pecker proof, especially if there's a lot of those little grey grunter around. There we go. So basically we've got our chocker, we've got the smell of the crab on the inside, it's nice and soft. Very pecker proof. And that's basically the bait at the end which is our crab combo for stumpies. Very good up Zululand way, um, vital places like that. That's my go-to bait for 80% of my fishing. The eagle rays, the duck bills, all those kind of things will eat this bait as well.